We're on the corner of Razorback Road and Maple Street, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the Razorback Stadium is the site for today's game. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Visa, innovation that excites. Fletcher has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he's tackled at about the 31. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 41-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. First and 10. Ball on the 41. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 38. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. A little misdirection. And they'll get him in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. That play fake, good for five yards. That'll bring up third and eight. So we're looking at another third down here. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. And he is drilled at the 21. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down and goal. Ball on the five. Touchdown, Rebels! And 
he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 76 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 7 0. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 25 yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's tackled at about the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 35 yard line. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Scrambling around, and they got it. Well, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz, and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Catches it and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 48 yard line. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And they'll take over on downs. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. And they push him out at the 40. From the 40-yard line. It's first down. Ole Miss is up a score. Brought down at the 38-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. down now they need to get it down to the 30. They'll spread the field with five wide. Under pressure he's going to air it long. What great concentration. He left his feet made the catch and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational.
They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. From the three-yard line, second down. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow blitz. And he has it on the corner. And he's leveled at the 25. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 25. After a decent run up the gut. Hand off, and he's met immediately. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Booming kick. Tackle at the 32. The Rebels have been waiting for a game like this, and their offensive coordinator's been praying for one, and I think his prayers are answered so far early. Well, he put together a great game plan. He talked with you and I about how he felt like they could exploit some things, and they've done it up to this point. See if they can maintain it and continue to play well. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 41 yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. rid of this one. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. We're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Ole Miss has got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There are three quarters remaining. The Rebels lead it by two touchdowns. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Yeah. 
Setting up play action. Fires quick. Tipped. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. Fires across the middle. Almost picked off. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 37-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's hit and taken down. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings it's second down one. now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. My ten. My ten, my ten. They try to run it inside, and he's hammered. but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Good possession there for the defense. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He fights forward to about the 23. Second and seven, ball on the 23. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it third and seven. Going right to his tailback. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Usually a defense will look to kind of have a feel based on the tendencies and research that they have done throughout the week to be able to see when a screen might be coming. But truly, you have to be able to get your eyes on the quarterback and just sense the timing is a little bit different. Wow, that offensive lineman let me get, get by a little bit too easily. And that should be something needs to tip the, uh, the hand of the offense to let you know that a screen is coming. Jackson takes it left. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And he's immediately tackled. Midfield. First down. He's scrambling. 
Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets out to about the 31. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. They run it left. Tackled for a loss. No game. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here we go, D. Mike 27, Mike 27, Mike 27. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up, and he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-3, Ole Miss. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rebels came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong. But the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. He throws left. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Gets out to around the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. He airs it out. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. The ball is loose, and the defense picks it up. And the safety's all alone, and no one's going to catch him. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Razorbacks. It always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. He makes the PAT. Fletcher, ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. 
tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Ole Miss is up by four. Nice run there. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. First down. made at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. No good on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. He picks it up. He's on the run. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up four. And he hits him hard at the 18. Diggs gains around three yards on the run. Woo. I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Probably trying to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. Complete. He's got room. Touchdown, Mississippi. He 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Davis is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. He lets it fly through his hands. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Missed tackle out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And he's tackled at the 39. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. With the pass incomplete. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. and he's going to be stopped short. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Watkins is back awaiting the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss, this offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. With a quick throw. Got it to the senior. To the 10. Brought down at the 5. That's a tough catch for the receiver on a ball coming in from that angle. But he did a really nice job of looking it into his hands and concentrating all the way. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. Davis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 40. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 42. Now he's scrambling. 
And they make the stop at the 41. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. So we've played two quarters. The Rebels lead 28-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. But I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount. They want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Well, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out, get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. The Rebels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That makes it 37. Here we go, here we go. They come out in a five-wide set. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Run right side. They'll drop him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled at the 47. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Fletcher awaits the snap. Here's the, nope, they snap into the up back. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. And the defense comes through. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Over the middle, got his tight end. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. First 
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Got some open field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Touchdown, Rebels! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he hits the PAT. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. The Razorbacks have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Makes it to the 27. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes, right around the 30. Aaron and out long. Almost picked off. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Fights forward to about the 33. Throws out to the back end. He can't hold on to it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Ole Miss is winning big. Big opening. He's at the 20. The 10. What a play. Brought down inside the 5. That makes it first and goal. First down, first and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, picked off. There he goes. 
touchdown, Arkansas. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he converts the extra point. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebel staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Got it, and brought down immediately. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it to his tight end for a first down. That makes it first and ten. He goes out of bounds around the 47 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll bring him down at the 44 yard line. Gain three on the play. First down. Nice run there. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. The tailback picks up about three yards on the option play. They got him for a loss. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Huge play for the defense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38.
Jackson. Again, he tackles him for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Catches it, and that's all. I thought that one was going to sail high, but he pulled it down. Hey, Brad, the ball is never out of reach if this young man is on the receiving end. Third and five situation. Ball on the 33. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Push him out around the 23 yard line. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Tackled for a loss. No gain. That makes it second and 10. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He gets rid of this one. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Throws complete. Big loss. It's up, and the field goal is good. That's three down and one to go. Ole Miss is up by 15. Fletcher has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Goes down quickly. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And he 
he's brought down right away. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. And they're coming after this punter. Oh, excellent punt. He takes it in at the 14. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. On play action, he'll scramble. Get to that quickly. Well, the defense has played so well for most of this game, and to be able to give up a big play like that can be demoralizing. This defense has got to kind of pick themselves up and try to finish this game off and get the win. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. He scrambles. Brought down at the thirty five. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Good tackle there in space. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 11-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's scrambling. He's hit and got away. There's a fumble. It's recovered. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Here they go. First and goal, down by a couple of possessions. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. They hand it off. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. And they get the two. They're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ole Miss is up a score. Got an opening. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Laterals back, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. He makes his way to about the 22. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And now he pitches it. Tackle at the 23. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And he throws it away. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 31. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. They come out on an empty backfield. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an opening. So they're going to go for it here. He fights forward to about the 40. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Makes it to the 31. That brings up second and Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down. run there as they work the outside. Diggs comes away with five yards on the carry. Second down and five. Ball on the 22. 
gains his way to the 13-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 16-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Just a minute remains in this football game. He gets it up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Black five, black five. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. To the 20. Got it to the senior. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line. Well, the offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. Ole Miss, 41, Arkansas, 28. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Arkansas probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.